we're going to talk about how to become an effective team member. I am Alex Lyon, and we are going to look at seven ways to get better at being a team member and better at other people perceiving that we are a good team member. We're working out of B.B. and Masterson's book on communicating in small groups. I will put a link to that book in the description below this video. So research shows that when you want to be, see, be perceived as more competent, you have to do these seven things so that other team members will see you that way. And number one is you have to be there. You have to show up and spend time interacting with other people on the team. That should be obvious, but a lot of times people don't realize that if they're not there, then people will question their competence as a team member. Be there, show up, be consistent, and interact with people when you're there. Number two, talk about the importance of trusting one another. So you make sure that you see trust as an explicit expectation. So you might say phrases like, trust in your team members, and let's trust each other to do a good job. One thing I don't recommend, however, is that you say things like, trust me, trust me, because if you say that too often, then it will have the opposite effect, and people will begin to question your credibility. But it's okay to encourage people on the team to trust their team members and trust people in general. Number three, talk about the task that the team is working on instead of just working quietly on the task and not telling anybody. So you have to communicate that you're working on things and give updates and let people know that you are actually active doing team work. Some people prefer just like, hey, if you don't hear from me, assume the best, assume I'm working on it. But people want updates. They wanna hear you talk about that you're working on tasks. Number four, be clear in your communication. One of the key things is to avoid lots of abbreviations, lots of acronyms. I was at a meeting of about 50 human resource professionals from all over the world from this global company. They all came together, and even though they're experts, one of them was presenting, and she used a million acronyms and abbreviations for, for different processes. They all worked there, and people started looking at each other like, what is she talking about? It was very hard to understand and follow her because she was talking in this weird way. She was trying to sound maybe too smart, smarter, you know, come across that way, and really it made her communication unclear. So what you want to do is focus on being really clear in your communication, boil, boil your message down so that everybody can understand you. Number five, listen well. If you want to be considered a more effective team member, start listening very carefully when people talk. Number six, talk backstage, outside of meetings, and develop relationships that are not solely based upon the task. So you want to connect with other people as whole people, as well-rounded people. It can't be all business all the time. We're individual people. We're human beings. We have lives outside of work. We have interests outside of that specific task we're working on. So connect backstage, they say, you know, let your hair down a little bit as the expression goes, loosen up a bit, have social communication, make small talk. And number seven, laugh and have appropriate kinds of fun. If you are all business and you are stiff all the time, then people will find it very hard to relate to you. And so part of being in a team, an effective team member, is providing that positive energy. And one of the ways you can do that is laugh at people's jokes and engage in a little bit of light and appropriate humor. Now, there are also four things that you should not do if you want to be seen as an effective team member. Don't be negative. Now, it's okay to point out issues that need to work, that people need to work on, and that the leadership needs to work on, and that's fine, but you don't want to be someone who always goes negative. That's... You know, only in small doses, you generally want to be positive. Don't use mean humor. So we talked about laughing and how having a appropriate sense of light humor is okay and even beneficial in many ways, but don't aim it at other people. Don't make fun of other people. Don't call people out in negative ways. People don't tend to like that. Number three, don't verbally express boredom. Like when someone says, hey, we have a team meeting coming up. Don't say, ah. Oh so bored at these meetings, it's so boring. If you talk about how bored you are, uh, people will instantly see that you are not into this and you're not really committed to this. And number four, don't grab credit, don't jockey for position or engage in direct self-promotion. Don't 
In other words, try to keep positioning yourself as the best one there and the most successful one there and the one who's making all the best contributions. People, when you put yourself out there too much like that, people will say, oh, they're just in this for themselves. They're not really trying to be part of the team. So there are some ways that you can affirmatively become a more effective team member and be seen that way by others. And there's also four things that you want to avoid if people are to see you as an effective team member. So question of the day, which of these do you find most interesting? Which one do you personally think you could benefit from working on? I would love to hear your comments in that section below the video. So thanks and I will see you soon.